here it is the Benelli Leoncino Leoncino I'm not sure how you pronounce it someone will tell me if I'm pronouncing it right Leoncino I like it I like it a lot I only just rode it a couple of hundred meters up the road from Raceway Suzuki and this guy is cool I thought this would be plastic but this is actually a little metal emblem it's a lion and I like Brisbane Lions so I chose <laughs> to like the lion logo I think this is a very sexy looking bike it's on point the brakes are noticed are very strong they are braided brake lines yes factory braided brake lines there you go why did Pete want to ride this bike I've always liked cafe races I've always liked this style of low seat height very just chilled back and ride type of bike and this has been on the list ever since Benelli went under complete R&D upgrade whatever the term would be I wanted to ride one I reckon it's great whoever designed this it's a it's a credit to them it's amazing I would like to put a fender eliminator on it but you know you can do that off this pretty easy nice sort of grab rails actually you know what I haven't even looked in the that's not a knife all right where is the seat unlock do there it is Ta-da! Oh, not much room at all. Is that plastic? Oh yeah, that's like an air rubber seal thing. Well, there you go. Is it just one? Oh yep, it's just one. It's got little clips here, see? That's what I was not doing right. It's gonna go down. Then like that. Oh, okay. So you gotta push down and push forward, not just push down. Rightio. So what do we got? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, like twelve or fourteen spec rims, dual front discs with Benelli calipers on the front, Benelli on the rear, braided brake lines on front and rear. Swing arm is sort of off to the side with pre-adjuster on it. Or rebound adjuster, I'm not sure the technical term. The engine I believe as I said before is like some sort of cross twin thing. What do we got here? Oh, even Benelli related bars. So we can disable ABS, high beam, low beam, indicators, horn, hazards. That's different. And stop on. So, trip meter. It's a little bit dirty. Let's start her up. How do we disable? Do we hold it down? Oh, yep. Now it'd be flashing. Now I want it back. So that'd be ABS off. That's ABS on. Okay. Cable clutch. I'm not too sure about that. I think it could do with a hydraulic clutch. It is a little bit stiff. Let's go for a ride. It's got a lot of engine braking, surprisingly. Dude's chilling with a skateboard. No, oh, I can't go up there, can we? Oh. See, it's only one finger braking. Let's actually, let's test and see if ABS is on. Yeah, ABS is on. It's not letting me skid. We'll try it on the front. Ready? I'll go up here and we'll give it a good dab. Ready? Yeah, you can feel you can feel it fighting me. But what it does is ABS will pulsate back. The seat is right in the middle. I like it. Low, low tank height, low center of gravity. Let's go around a roundabout. Oh, that does it easy. Oh, that was in second gear too. Whoops. We'll try something here. Ready?
turns really good. This would sound wicked with an exhaust. I can flat foot it, I'm not even sitting. If I sit, my knees are bent. Just to tell you, I think the seat height's like seven, 760 mil or something like that. See the headlight that's on it? Nice LED indicators. See, for me to sit on this, standing up, flat foot, sit down, knees. I'm five foot ten, so I sit on this pretty easily. It's comfy, right in the middle too. Let's test the passenger seat part. Let's get a bit of speed here and sit in the passenger seat. Oh yeah, passenger seat's a little bit bumpier, a bit firmer. But it's alright. It'll cruise around like this all day. Thanks for cutting the corner, Brosif. This is awesome. I'm actually really liking this bike. This would be a wicked commuter. The suspension is a little bit firm, but that's okay. That's that's nothing to really complain about. It's it's I dare say it's more aimed at sort of touring commuting. Not like you know track. It's obviously not a track bike, right? So the suspension is never going to be like as good as an S1000 or, or or any sort of active air suspension. However, what's in it feels really good. It's very firm. I'm a hundred kilogram guy. Well, actually, I'll be over 100 kilos with all my gear on, and it's it's rigid for me, and I like it like that. Some people might hate it. Some people might want a little bit more sort of push and play. I wouldn't mind the bars a little bit further back, but then again, that's just me. I like to sit upright, pretty much not hunched. There is Raceway Suzuki. That's where the Benelli is from. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's got more than enough pickup, easily. As I said, that brake pedal is about one click too low for me. I like it to be up higher, mainly for when you're doing wheelies, so your foot's not always sitting down, it's sort of sitting in a, in a flat, neutral resting position. That way you can push it. Where well, this way I've got to push down a lot to get onto the brake, instead of it just being right down. Like, tap, 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 tap. You can ride in the bike lane if you're turning left within like 800 meters or something like that. Well, not 800 meters, 300 meters. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that clutch. Metallica. Oh no, that's a Mexi Mexican. <laughs> I thought it said Metallica, damn it. Yeah, this clutch is a little bit far out for me. I'd probably put like a, a little one finger easy pull clutch on. However, it's not that bad, you just adjust it. It's a demo bike, like I'm pretty sure it's set to like complete stock factory standards. But normally you could ride one like one handed with your foot on the brake, but as I said, your foot's just it's down a little bit further than normal. And it's not very comfortable for me. But yeah, I'm a cyclist to deal with it. Oh, it's a Tesla! They're like a hundred and thirty thousand dollar car in Australia. It's ridiculous how expensive these things are. You know what would be nice if Benelli. St I know Benelli started making electric uh, mountain bikes, which I'd like to ride. I reckon I could wheel it. I had a thumb throttle though. If you're familiar with a thumb throttle, that's a uh, throttle lock on a quad bike. It would be nice if it was a little quarter throttle lock. It's a little quarter piece, but it's in the middle here. 
Can I fit through that? Oh, I'll give it a shot. Yep, easy. See the big bars you can do, it's just so good. This is a really good mid-range bike.